do something a bit different tonight. Um, so I'm going to perform one of Ovid's Heroides. I've been doing a new translation uh, of the Heroides that's going to be published in May by Blood Axe's um, Ovid's Heroines. And it's a really amazing book. Um, it's considered to be the first book of dramatic monologues. It was written about 20 BC. And it's 12 um, poems in which the women of Greek and Roman myth and history, uh, Dido, Ariadne, Penelope, Medea, kind of tell their side of the story. Um, and it's been very neglected, I think, because um, the translations haven't been very good. So I've done quite a straight translation, but it's, a, it's an attempt to make a kind of a translation that will speak to a contemporary audience. Um, and I'm going to, I think they deserve performing because they're quite dramatic rather than just reading, so I'm going to try and perform one tonight. Uh, I'll get my excuses in early. I've just been reading a book about, because well, I'm pregnant, about expecting babies, and apparently women do get very forgetful and it's a medical condition. <laughs> <laughs> so if I, uh, if I forget any of my lines, I've got my excuse in. And this one I'm going to uh, perform is. Phaedra, uh, speaking to Hippolytus. Um, her husband Theseus is kind of the villain of the Heroides. He's, um, he's, he's an absolute prick, basically. <laughs> he, he, um, he's already abandoned her sister, Ariadne, on the island of Anaxos. And after that, he forgets to change his sail, so his father thinks he's dead and jumps off a cliff. And then he goes on to a career as what Wikipedia a rather charmingly called a serial abductor of women. Um, he abducts Helen and then he abducts um, the Amazonian queen Hippolyta, with whom he has a son, Hippolytus. And then he finally ends up settling down with Phaedra. Um, I've, all the versions of the myth I've read I, I, never explained why Phaedra would marry this horrible, horrible man, but she does. And he's a feckless husband, he's away constantly uh, abducting women, etc. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and in Why his absence, <laughs> she falls in love with her stepson, Hippolytus, who's coming of age, he's a young man. He's the son of um, an Amazon, so he's, he's, as you would expect, he's very beautiful, very chaste, warlike, he, he likes hunting and athletics, he's always exercising under a window, and she falls in love with him. <laughs> Um, and this is her speaking to him, trying to seduce him, basically. But she really, like, throws everything at him. She tries, you know, flattering him. Um, she tries telling him it would be really convenient because they share a house. <laughs> um, she suggests it, it would be a good kind of revenge fuck because his dad's such a bastard. Um, you know, she begs. She, do, she does everything. It gets increasingly desperate. Um, I'm not going to do the full... 10 minute version, I'm going to do an edited 6, six minute version, hopefully, if I remember it. Okay, um, so this is Phaedra to Hippolytus. I wish you well, though lack such wellness, lacking you. This Cretan maid greets the hero, born of Amazon. Please read this to the end, how can it harm you? You might be entertained by the secrets it spells out. Even letters from enemies are read. Three times I've tried to talk to you. Three times my tongue has sopped. Sounds failed. Love should be modest, but though modesty forbids, its love commands me right. Love's orders can't be nothing when it's love that rules the gods who rule. I tried to stop, but love cried out. Right, his iron heart might yield. Well, let love help me then and heap your marrow as my marrow, your heart as my heart. It's not because I'm base I break my marriage vow. I swear that I was clean till now, but love has come, come deep for coming late, and I am burning, burning in this wounded breast. As an ox galled by its first yoke, as a new colt resists its reins, so does my untried heart rebel at the submission to restraints, this weight. If those who learn love young make it an art, then love learnt later's fiercer. You will reap my honour and will be equal in sin. It's pleasure to pluck fruit from laden branches, to cull with just a finger the new rose. And if my white life is to be marked with some rare stain, I am charred by a worthy flame. I'd rather love's forbidden than is mean. If Juno offered me her lord and brother, Jove himself, I think that I would still choose you. You won't believe it, by the way. I have a new distraction. 
I'm stirred to go amongst wild beasts. Diana is now my goddess with her bow, as I cannot help but follow what you follow. Desire leads me into woods with nets for deer. I take my hounds up highest hillsides, let my spear fly forth quavering, or lay down in the grasses, or desire to drive my carriage through dust, twist the reins in my steed's mouth. How I rush like a maenad, god-raving, like a tambourine beater at Mount Ida, or those dryads of horn thorns, those frenzied by themselves and driven mad, at least they tell me so when madness passes. I stay silent. I know this is love's torture. Sometimes I think this love's a debt I pay. Perhaps it is my family's fault. Europa, the beginning of my line, was loved by Jove, God in bull's form. My mother, pacify, raped by a duped bull, mothered a monster. A winding thread led Theseus to slip the labyrinth, my sister following. And now I, born of the line of Minos too, am the latest subjected to these laws. Isn't it fate that one house conquers us? Your father caught my sister's heart, you mine. Theseus and son, you have undone two sisters, you should both get a prize. Visiting Eleusis, the city of Ceres, I wish my land had held me back. Then you, who'd pleased before, pleased more, love pierced my bones deep. You wore white, your hair was full of flowers. Shy, a blush tinged your tan cheek, and what others have called hard in Phaedra's eye was strong, away from me with girlish men. Male beauty can't be striven for, your hardness suits the artless fall of fringe, dirt on your face. Whether you steer your horse's neck to make it step tight circles, or you hurl the lance's shaft and I gaze on your gallant arm, or you grasp the hunting spear, I'll stop. My eyes love all of you. Absent Theseus is always absent, always with his friends, admit his cares for them, not us. And that's not all that's wrong. He wounds us both. He smashed and scattered all my brother's bones, left our sister in the wild. Your Amazonian mother lived fiercely like her son. Where is she now? Stabbed by Theseus. Your birth no protection. Yes, an unwed. Why? Would he rather a bastard than an heir? I bore him sons, each one he raised an heir to spite you. How I would that this body which did you such harm had split. Don't fear the secrecy, it will be easy. No one will guess, we're family, they'll compliment our intimacy. I'll be a fine mother to my son. The roof that covers will still cover us. And no dire husband's door must be unlocked, no guard eluded, as before our kisses can be open. You'll be safe with me, even praised for lying blatant on my couch. Only stop this waiting, hurry, may raging love teach you mercy. I'm not afraid to kneel, I beg. God, where is my pride, where are my words? Fallen, I resolve to fight, endure, but I am overcome, pleading. Clutching knees with queenly arms. Love doesn't care what is forbidden. Shame has fled and all I knew of right. Forgive me. Please be kind. Although my father rules the seas and my ancestors through lightning and my grandfather, crowned by rays, drives around the tepid days, what does a noble name mean before love? If you won't spare me, spare my line. Job's island creeps my dowry. Take my courtiers for slaves. Bend, cruel boy. A bull desired my mother. Are you more monstrous still? By Venus at my side, I pray you spare me. And that you never love one who will spurn you. And that the goddess keeps you safe when hunting. And the dark forest gives you things to kill. And may Pan and the satyrs never leave you, and the boar die entirely on your spear, and may those nymphs you're said to hate, young girls, slake your awful thirst. I mix this plea with tears. You are reading my words. Imagine my tears. <laughs>